Hi everyone, Seth is at football training, B has gone to the park, Wes has taken Ralph out for a walk. I have about an hour's window to film this video before the house gets very, very noisy again and I get interrupted, which probably will happen by the end of this video, but fingers crossed, we get through. So no messing around today. We are gonna be doing a get ready with me using some brand new products that have just freshly landed in the UK from Merit Beauty. I know Merit Beauty has been around for a really long time everywhere else in the world, but as with everything else, the UK gets everything a little bit late. So uh, I've bought practically everything that Merit Beauty has on offer. My credit card is now crying. I almost went the full hog and bought the entire collection because if you do like any of these products, there is a deal on the entire collection, but that included the brush, which I think I've got something that will probably work the same, and also the glow serum. Didn't pick up those two items, but I have something in every single category from all of the rest of the line. So we're gonna get straight on with it. If you're new here, put this box down. Hi, my name is Gemma. I upload new content on YouTube every single week. I would love it if you are finding this video helpful at any point, please consider clicking on the like button, the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. So while I'm sorting out all of these products and putting them in order that I'm going to actually apply them to my skin, has anybody noticed the state of my hair? I am so sorry. I think I am on day seven of dry shampoo. <laughs> you know, when you're just so exhausted and so fed up that, uh, yeah, you just can't be bothered. And also I think we're probably on the fourth week of having no bathroom. Don't ask, honestly, it's just an absolute nightmare. I'm really hoping that this month's faves and fails will be the last faves and fails that I film in this room. The next one, fingers crossed, will be in the new filming space. We are so close, so close. <laughs> just not close enough. So before I start, I'm just going to cover up any imperfections that I have. I believe from the videos that I've been watching, from Merit Beauty that uh, this is going to be a really subtle wash of colour over the skin just to even everything out a little bit. It's not supposed to be anywhere near full coverage so I just want to give it a head start by covering over the imperfections that I know are going to poke through. The first thing I notice about the entire collection is how beautiful the packaging is, especially the lip products. I mean, look, how beautiful are these products? We will come to them a little bit later, but they're unique. I've never seen anything like this before. It's chunky. The bullet is the same as every other bullet that you've seen pretty much everywhere, but the outer packaging, the fact that it's slightly see-through, is, is oh, it's just lovely. I know what floats my boat and this is definitely it. I'm hoping that the products inside them, the formulas, the way they sit on the skin, the way they feel, are just as good as the packaging, otherwise it's gonna be a real letdown. So because I have a brow product, the one that I'm gonna be using is the Volumizing Pomade in the shade, I think I've got brown. Yes, I've got brown. I just want to give my brows a little bit of shape because I'm not sticking them back and giving them that laminated look, which is my usual go-to. So I just want to fill my brows in a little bit using my NYX Micro Brow Pencil to begin with, and then we're gonna go in with the pomade. I always like to do my brows first because you can always clean up any messes that you create before you apply the rest of your products. If you've already got your foundation on or any tinted serum, then it's a little bit more challenging because then you have to redo what you've already done. So I like to do my brows first and this one does come with a spoolie. So it's highly likely that I may get some in areas that I don't mean to get some. So let's just see, especially because this spoolie is rather large for the brows. So I thought I'd fill in my brows with the NYX Microbrow Pencil on one side and then not bother on the other side just to see if it can be done in one step because that would obviously save me quite a lot of time in the morning if I'm just wanting that natural look to only have to use one product rather than two. So this is actually working quite nicely. I didn't think it would do because the spoolie is quite large but it's giving it some hold as well. Let's try the other side where I have none of the NYX Microbrow Pencil and I'm just dipping it back 
in the container which is very sweet very very sweet and then I'm just gonna go ahead and very lightly go through these brows just to give them a bit of volume and style them a little bit I always like my brows to look a bit bushier than they actually do I have very little brow hair so anything that's going to give me a bit more oomph in the brow department I am all for so I could easily get away with this on its own but as I do like a more dramatic brow I think it would look a bit neater if I then infilled it slightly just on the outline to give it a bit more definition with the NYX microbrow pencil but this can fill the brows in really nicely it's just not as good at getting that crisp edge perfectly passable though and I also like the shade which is unheard of for me with a product that I picked online got it right for once go me let's move on to the tinted moisturizer slash foundation slash concealer stick that Merit Beauty have on offer this one is called the minimalist perfecting complexion stick I've gone for the shade linen I think it's probably going to be a little bit too deep for me but hey we will see again comes in stick format and the packaging is once again really beautiful I don't think I would have chosen this color for any packaging but it's still very beautiful all the same it's just me being extremely picky this does have a spinny up function so once you need more product you can easily get more product out without having to squeeze a tube or getting messy in any way so it does say to apply where you need it and blend it out with either brush or fingers so that's exactly what I'm going to do I have some melasma on the top of my forehead so that definitely needs covering down the tip of my nose need a little bit around the edges as well definitely underneath my eyes the cream formula of this makes me slightly nervous on application for underneath the eyes this to me probably is going to crease always need quite a bit on my eyelids and I have a bit of discoloration on my chin and then you know let's just see how we get on with that amount so I'm going to use a couple of brushes to blend this in my refer 35 brush first and foremost to blend those smaller areas on the eyelids underneath the eyes in between the brows and then I'm going to go for my Zoeva 104 buffing brush this is the one that I think looks most similar to the Merit Beauty brush that I didn't buy that I was sort of kicking myself I wish I'd bought it and then I'm going to blend the rest of it in with my fingers to see how finger blending goes so firstly let's go in underneath the eye this stays quite movable on the skin doesn't dry down incredibly fast so it's workable if you want to take your time which I really like see how that blends out on the eyelids as well this shade isn't too bad I may be patting myself on the back once again once this full face is done I thought this was going to be way too dark for me when I saw it in the tube it actually turns out quite a good color match for me shock horror double whammy have I chosen the right shade twice in one video this is one of those products that blends in so beautifully into the skin and it's completely invisible that you could quite easily look like you had no makeup on whatsoever so if you only wanted to put a little bit on your forehead say I just wanted to go out and cover my melasma I think I'd be able to use this and nobody would notice that I'd got makeup on only a portion of my skin it is very very beautiful I'm just hoping it wears well otherwise I will be disappointed this is stunning it looks like my skin it just it just looks like my skin and I have some dry patches around my nose and around my chin so it will be a test to see whether it blends in beautifully there and doesn't cling to that dryness and look I've got carried away and I've used the entire lot buffing it in with a brush and I've not used my fingers yet so let's add a little bit more and see whether this is actually buildable because I could do with a bit more on my nose blends out really nicely I think I prefer it with a brush though one it's not as messy 
and two it's just quicker to blend it out with a brush let's have a look under the eyes as well I think I might try putting this on my finger rather than dabbing it on that's better yeah dabbing it underneath the eyes tends to drag the skin a little bit for me so popping it on a finger first rather than dabbing it underneath the eyes just feels nicer so it has creased a little bit on my lids don't know if you can see that but it has creased already having said that liquid foundations or concealers would do exactly the same in this time frame and I did add quite a bit on there but this would definitely need setting on the eyelids that are incredibly movable you can still see my melasma I haven't covered over my melasma so this is incredibly natural it's a very very natural look for giggles let's just try and see whether that covers over taking so long with my fingers let's just use a brush I think this brush is about as big as my finger what am I doing <laughs> that's better so that's covered over a little better you can still see a bit of the discoloration poking through but I'm happy with that because I just look more refreshed it's not as flattering underneath my eyes as I would usually like a bit more coverage in that area but I mean I'm being incredibly picky for a one-stop shop this is great and you're not supposed to look perfect you're just supposed to look refreshed this is just that really soft more refreshed look <laughs> find another word Gemma for goodness sake <laughs> So I'm going to zoom you in a little bit on the dryness around my nose so as you can see it has clung to that dryness on one side watch this space we will see what happens a little bit later also I have a bit of dryness around these imperfections these blemishes it's also clung to those as well and a little bit on my chin surprising slightly because it's such a creamy emollient consistency I wasn't expecting that and that's disappointed me a little bit but let's get on with the rest of the face because sometimes it can settle and blend out nicely we'll pause hold the thoughts and uh, come to a conclusion a little bit later moving on to the bronzer this is the bronze balm and I have the shade clay and it looks very shiny in the tube this does not look like it's going to be matte in any way although maybe it's just the top that looks shiny and underneath looks a little bit more matte it feels quite an oily consistency this definitely isn't going to be matte it has a sheen on the surface I'm going to apply this everywhere that the sun would naturally hit I'm going to take a brush and just dust that in my crease say dust that for a cream it's not really the right word to use but hopefully you know what I mean that's really really pretty again I haven't set my eyes in place yet I am gonna have to do that this does seem a very wet consistency quite an oily not sticky but it has that oily residue let's also pop a bit under those cheekbones but actually quite high up because I'm gonna blend this up so it almost sits on the top of the cheekbones and then a bit down my nose I'm not going to try contouring my nose with this because it's really quite a wide brim and this is quite warm it's on the cooler side of warm does that make any sense whatsoever I mean this isn't an orangey warm bronzer it's a really nice more neutral bronzer and then I'm going to use the same brush the Zoeva 104 brush to blend that in this reminds me a little bit of the Rare Beauty bronzer stick in the way that it blends into almost nothingness which is a good thing not a bad thing in my opinion it's not too punchy but you can build it up and that cons consistency is so smooth and extremely creamy very very lightweight it's not heavy in the slightest I'm actually going to apply a little bit more of that 
just up top and a little bit more on that forehead why not why not bit on the chin as well we're going for it so nice it's a little bit sticky at the moment but the foundation was also that consistency and I mean there's nothing there now it's not tacky to the touch at all so when I'm blending this out, I don't know if it's the brush I'm using. I don't know whether the Merit Beauty brush would do this as well. It's taking some of that foundation off from underneath. You can see my melasma more now. I've gone over the product with more bronzer. So that's just something to bear in mind. Maybe I'm swiping a little bit too much rather than dabbing. I don't know. So I'm just going to set my eyes now with a bit of the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder just to make sure that that creamy consistency is locked in place. Very fresh, very, very fresh looking. Also going to dust a bit anywhere else that I feel is a little bit too shiny like in between those brows. Curling my lashes. And then we're going to use some of the Clean Lash. This is a lengthening tubing mascara and the bottle. Oh, so nice. The applicator is beautiful right up my street. It is all one width, so you're not going to get mascara everywhere. You watch, I'm just going to get mascara everywhere now to prove myself wrong. But let's see how we get on. I am really into tubing mascaras at the moment. I just think they're absolutely amazing at not smudging throughout the day. So if you do suffer with your mascara smudging because your lashes are beautifully long, lucky you, and they touch the skin throughout the day, a tubing mascara is great at stopping that from happening. What a difference a lick of mascara makes. These are beautiful, very natural looking, separated, fluttery. You can see each and every individual lash and they look really, really long. But like most tubing mascaras, this doesn't add a lot of volume. So you could probably add three coats of this and it would look exactly the same as if you only had one coat of the mascara on. These have two coats on now, but pretty much the second coat didn't really do anything. So I will do one coat in future and get a very, very similar look, which would save me time in the long run anyway. Very beautiful mascara if you're after that natural fluttery look. I'm going to powder underneath my eyes just to make sure that the concealer underneath my eyes doesn't budge and then we'll move on to the lower lashes and see how it applies to the lower lashes as well. Taking my Pat McGrath powder, I'm just going to press that underneath my eye with a powder puff. This powder puff is from Tatty Beauty, they don't do them anymore, you can't get them anymore but um, there are plenty of powder puffs on the market. I do like powder puff underneath the eye or I like to push the powder in with my finger because I think that's a really natural, soft look. So that does not look dry at all and that is not always the case with my Pat McGrath powder. I mean, the Pat McGrath powder is amazing but depending on what concealer I team it with, sometimes it can look a little bit crusty at first until it settles down and this has only just been applied and looks beautiful. You wouldn't know I'd got powder on underneath my eyes actually so I put that down to the creamy consistency of the concealer slash foundation stick because it's incredibly emollient underneath the eye and although it creased on my eyelid it did not crease underneath my eye. Maybe that's because I pushed it in with my fingers. I don't know but I had great success underneath the eye. Not as much coverage as I would usually go for but I think it looks really really nice. So let's try Try the mascara underneath the eye on those lower lashes. Oh wow, very, very lengthening on those lower lashes. I don't usually go for a really exaggerated, punchy look on those lower lashes. I usually like them quite muted and very soft. I really like that. Maybe this is the way forward. 
On to what I hope will be my favourite part of this video. This is the Merit Beauty Flush Blush and I am super excited to try this out. It's a little bit intimidating, I'm not gonna lie. So it does say that you should swipe this on the cheek and then blend it out with your fingers, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. This is in the shade Fox, which screamed out at me on the website, so... Ooh, I'm, I'm a little bit hesitant to apply this like this. Oh, let's just go for it. Oh, look how pretty that is already. Oh, yes. I'm going to try this with a brush as well. Otherwise, I might be here forever because you all know if you've been a regular for some time that uh, I like to really do the blush in a big way. <laughs> so I'm going to take my Refa 17 brush get a bit on the brush and then actually stamp that on the skin. This is my favourite brush to use with the NARS Air Matte blushes, which are some of my favourite blushes of all time and they just do not move throughout the day. Just stamping rather than swiping, I find, doesn't move all of the other products underneath. Which if you spent a really long time on your makeup, you don't want to have to be redoing anything because it looks patchy. I do think that looks nicer than just swiping it on and blending it out with your fingers. Plus I get a little bit more on. Maybe a little bit too much on at once. So pretty. There is a lovely, soft, subtle sheen on the surface. No sparkles whatsoever. It's just a really nice, soft focus glow. I love that. I'm just keeping on going now because I've applied a little bit more on one cheek so we've got to make them match. That's my excuse. <laughs> this colour is to die for. Really gorgeous. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So this is definitely the favourite product I've tried so far. I mean nobody is going to be shocked at that revelation. Really, really pretty. We're going to have to move on because I will be here all day just applying this one product. Next product I've picked up to try is the Day Glow Highlighting Balm. You all know I'm not really a fan of highlighters. I love this soft glow, which is enough for me. I don't feel the need for a highlighter. I think this is pretty much it for me. It's enough. However, I do know a lot of you love a lovely highlighter, so I thought I'd pick this up and try it for you. I've got the shade Carver, which is more of a champagne gold rather than a really deep gold or more of a silvery tone shade. It does say to swipe it on the high points of your cheeks. Let me just check that. Layer on last over the cheek and brow bone or as a prep step on bare skin for an all over glow, which would have been nice. I should have done it that way, but let's just try it this way. Now, already tell you I'm liking this. I like the consistency, which is that really soft, emollient, more oily consistency. So if you're not wearing either a waterproof mascara or a tubing mascara and you're applying this underneath the brow bone and your lashes are really long, your lashes, your mascara may transfer. So just be warned because it's that sort of consistency, unless you're layering a powder over the top as well. But the other reason I really like it is because it's subtle. It is not a you can see the gleam from the moon sort of thing. I like that. Let's just add a bit here and blend that out with the skin. Yes, this will work for me. Look how beautiful that is. You can see a little soft pop of highlight. My cheekbone is more pronounced with that on. You can't see the highlight before you see me. All the Merit Beauty products are a very similar, really emollient consistency. Slightly oily when you're first applying them and then they sink into the skin really, really well. I mean, you can't really tell that I have any product on the face. There's a slight bit of tackiness there but it's nothing that feels like the product is lifting. These layer on top of one another incredibly well and they look beautiful on the skin. Effortless, 
beauty. This is, I got out of bed this way. I mean, I didn't even make an effort. What are you talking about? <laughs> very, very nice. I would love to see what these look like on differing consistency products. So a matte foundation with a couple of these products layered on over the top to see whether they blend in just as well. But time will tell. I will let you know in a pinned comment at the top of the comment section how these wear throughout the day. But next up, I'm going to be applying one of the lipsticks. So I have two lip products to try. The first product I'm going to apply is the Signature Lip Lightweight Lipstick in the shade Slip which I just, I couldn't resist. So I've already lined my lips with the Victoria Beckham lip liner in the shade two, I think it is. I'll link everything in the description box for you. This feels like satin on the lips. It is so smooth and so soft an incredibly pigmented one swipe and the lip is covered. I really, really like that. Now I've been trying out a lot of lip products recently and been slightly underwhelmed by a lot of them and completely grossed out by some of them. Watch this space, there will be a don't waste your money coming up rather soon and some really hyped up products are going to be entering that video because I feel quite strongly about it. In fact, I may do a dedicated video for one of them. So disappointed. This one, however, has not disappointed me. We will see how it wears though. Let's put a little bit of the tinted lip oil over the top. The shade that I've gone for is Eau Naturale, of course. I like the spoolie. The spoolie is really small and um, just a generic spoolie. There's nothing special about this spoolie whatsoever, but I like the fact that it's small because if it's small, it's going to be precise. Oh, wow. There are very few products that I get wowed by. The consistency of this and the way that it feels on the lip is a definite wow <laughs> in my book. Dry lips be gone. Sticky gloss out of the window. Go away. Don't need you anymore. This feels so beautiful. Not a hint of stickiness in sight. Does have a slight taste to this. It's not overly sweet and sickly anyway, like some lip glosses. It's really pleasant and it's so subtle. I'm not gonna sit here licking my lips because I really like the flavor because it's so insignificant, but it is slightly there. So if you really don't like a flavor to your lip glosses or lip balms, again, you're not gonna like this. Although it's so insignificant, you probably wouldn't notice. So at this point in the video, I was going to do you my top three products, but I am struggling a little bit because I've enjoyed using so many of these. There wasn't one product that I thought, mm, not so keen. I think the main products that I won't reach for on a daily basis is probably the foundation concealer stick. And that is only because I like a little bit more coverage on my skin. Although the overall finish of this product and the overall look, I really, really like. I also like it underneath my eye, although it's not as much coverage as I would usually like. It, there's no creasing. There's just nothing here. And it's a very natural, subtle, soft look, which is usually what I go for. This is definitely a look that you can go to the supermarket. You can go and see friends for a coffee. You can do the school run. It's so, so wearable and very quick and easy, which is why I think I've got on with all of these products. Now, the mascara, I have lots of other tubing mascaras in my drawer which do exactly the same thing, which are just as beautiful. It's gorgeous, but I have others, so this didn't blow me away any, but it's very, very nice. The brow pomade, I really liked. I think I will probably reach for this on match days or when I'm in a bit of a rush. If I'm going to a football match and I, I do like my brows to be intact because I just think it gives you a more fresh appearance. If nothing else is done but your brows and a lick of mascara, then I will probably reach for this. But on a day to day where I've got a bit more time, probably not. But that's just a preference thing, not a product thing. I think it's lovely. 
Probably won't reach for the bronzer on a daily basis. I like something a bit punchier. This one is more subtle than I would usually go for. Although again, very, very beautiful. The main stars of the show for me, the two lip products, absolutely divine. These feel like they cost at least 50 pounds per product. I'm reaching at numbers here. They feel like extreme luxury products. I've had these on now for a really long time and they don't look any different at all. And that's what I go for in a product. Super lightweight, really hydrating. Just love everything about them, including the color. Also, of course, really like the blush, the sheen on the surface of the skin, the fact that this felt really emollient like all of the other products, but sank in immediately into the skin. So there's no tackiness, but that sheen is still there. Love, love, love. The main surprise for me was the highlighting stick. Now I only bought this for all of you. I wanted to make sure that you had all the details on this, you saw it applied to the skin to see whether it would be right for you and it turns out it's right for me and instead of this dying a death in one of the drawers behind me and just staying there forevermore and never getting used, this is going to sit in my top drawer and be used probably daily. And I never thought I would say that in a million years. Highlighting stick really love it. So shocked, <laughs> really shocked. So that's the final look today. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you found it helpful in any way. Have you tried any of these Merit Beauty products out before? Did you really enjoy using them? Did you not get on with them? Please share your thoughts and feelings with the rest of the pack. I will update you in a pinned comment at the top of the comment section to let you know how these wore throughout the day. It's quite late at night now, so I'm going to be taking this off quite soon, but I will put all these products back on tomorrow morning and I've got a really busy day tomorrow and hopefully it will be quite warm outside. So these products will get a thorough workout. So I will let you know how I get on. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, please let me know what you've thought about it in the comment section and hope to see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.